Welcome, welcome. Yeah! Yeah! Bender. He's just happy that he got another lanyard. So, <laughs> Right? Well, thank you for getting here early, nice and early in the morning. Not as early as some people. Yoga, what was that? Seven? And where's Devin? Prayer at six? You guys are hardcore. I was still asleep, so... <laughs> But I'm glad you did that. Um, welcome to the conference. Thanks for coming. Uh, it's kind of pleasing to see that this idea I had a couple years ago that uh, we should have a conference for people who like Wi-Fi and like to hang out together works. And you come and hang out together and do stuff. So let's get started. For those of you who are going to be uh, for those of you who, oh, thank you, now I have a voice. Uh, for those of you who are going to be presenting, by the way, you have a little monitor up here that will make you feel good. Other than this monitor does not show you your notes. It shows you what everyone else sees. That's kind of on purpose. We don't want you to look at your notes. We want you to engage with the audience. This is just to let you know what you can see. This conference is all about the people. We've talked about this many times, um, and it's you. You were here. It's about lots of the people. Uh, people like Fernay. Say hi, Fernay. <laughs> Four years ago, Fernay came to uh, the first of these conferences in Austin. He decided he wanted to change his career and where he wanted to go. They didn't even give him good time off from work. He just took it anyway went down, attended the conference, and now, four years later, he's uh, one of our instructors. He teaches ECSE, and he taught at the boot camp a little while ago, and he does fantastic. Yay! <laughs> because being in this industry is just about engaging. Just do it. You want to get involved? Get involved. And it helps. So, Fernay's just an example. Fernay works with me. He's been a fantastic help for this. Matthew, is he in the room? If not, he's probably out running more errands. Uh, big thanks out to Matthew for running all of the, basically the entire conference. He does all of the, all of the bits. So yeah. And then to all of you, Jen, for hosting the, the yoga and Devin for putting together prayer and those who went running this morning together and people who just get together and community by just doing it. That's, that's all it takes. So this is about the people. Oh, there's Matthew. Matthew, say hi. We, are, we, already, we already clapped for you. Don't clap again. He, he only gets one clap. If he missed it, he missed it. Uh, so just a couple numbers here. We have, uh, this is our fifth conference over the last four years. Uh, how many of you just by the raise of hands, are this is your first WLPC? Whoa. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, you were in Dallas. I heard your giggle there. So I, I remember the giggle distinctly. Um, how many have been to all five? And Anders over here is like, oh, you, you didn't get Bo uh, Bogota. Oh, yeah. You didn't speak Spanish either, so. Uh, we had seven deep dive sessions this week. Uh, they'll be coming up this afternoon and afternoon. We had eight boot camp sessions over the weekend. Um, this is our 10th conference. Yay, we, it's working. Uh, nah, that's not worth a clap. We had a third of you, look around, a third of you actually attended the boot camps. Um, I don't know why. It was... Uh, I mean, I, I can't figure out why. I, I know why, because you like coming and doing the thing. But it, it's, uh, um, it's a good way to, to extend this and actually get some certification training and things out of the way. Uh, but 20% of you, so one out of five of you, are actually going to present during the conference as well. This isn't about bringing in professional presenters. This is about you sharing your knowledge with others. And about 5% of you are instructors in either the boot camps or the deep dives. 
my clicker battery is saying I'm out. Now, we have more conferences coming this year. We have six this year. Uh, this one's first one's in Phoenix. We have another one in Sydney, Australia. First time in Australia. Where's the Australia contingent? I've seen a couple around. Oh, they didn't wake up. They're still jet lagged. Uh, doing one in Birmingham, England, uh, Monterey, Mexico, and then um, for the first time in Europe, we'll be doing a three-day in Europe because we ran a survey out and 80% of the people wanted a three-day instead of a two-day. And then uh, finally one for uh, the Middle East for Dubai. So here's the agenda for today. Our agenda is fluid. It may change in a moment's notice, so that's why it's only printed on paper. Uh, some people, we looked at the website. I'm like, website? That is so old. It's dynamic. I, I know we should be using a more dynamic system, but paper works. Um, so today we will have a, a talk. You can take a picture of it, but we have papers if you want to copy. I, I mean, <laughs> just, just saying, you know. Um, there's some right in front of you. If I, I'll hand you one. Uh, and if we make big major changes, we'll probably do it, but th th we'll probably stay within the schedule. We have hour-long talks, we have half-hour-long talks, and we have 10 talks. And for those of you who are the first time here, uh, the reason we have these in this order is because in the previous conference, people asked for them. <laughs> they said, we want more and less pontificating for an hour. So if we shorten you down, you don't give you a whole hour, you have to talk faster and throw away the fluff. Uh, 10 talks are designed to kind of like a TED talk. You have 10 minutes, and in your 10 minutes, um, you have to finish or we'll throw things at you. Um, but it's, you can keep an hour's worth of content in 10 minutes if you just do it properly. So we have those during the day. Uh, we'll have breaks in between. And then at lunchtime, we extended the lunchtime. So this is, again, feedback from last time. You wanted more time to network and hang out and, and do stuff. Uh, we've tried every year to do something around birds of a feather. How do we get people? To, and it's not worked with any organization. So we're just going to uh, whiteboards around the area. And if you want to talk to other people like you, talk to other people like you. We made a longer lunch so you have more time to do that. So we actually extended that longer so you can have more time to hang out and talk about those things. And then this afternoon we have something um, that was a fix from last year. Last year we did something we called uh, maker sessions where we made stuff, it was really cool. And getting 250 people to make something at the same time was challenging. Uh, I did not know that people didn't know how to use screwdrivers. I assumed they did, it just, you know. Um, so instead, we split them up and you have a deep dive. You had to choose and based on the color of your, oh, my lanyard's over there. By the color of your lanyard, it tells you what session you're going in. Please don't switch sessions because there's a dedicated stuff to get. So you had your backpack that had some stuff, but when you go to your deep dive this afternoon, you'll get more stuff specifically for that session. Uh, you'll get it on the way in. So what we're going to do this afternoon, when we finish the talks. I think the last one is, um, yeah, the Wireless Land Association presentation with Peter McKenzie. When that's done, we're going to take a break. We're going to shut these air walls, kick everyone out, and then on your way back into each of the deep dives, you'll pick up your new kit. Uh, some of the rooms will be already preset, like the 3D printer. Everything's laid out for you. You'll just walk in. Uh, the ones that are in this room, you'll, you'll get them on the way back in. So that, that's the plan. After WLA session, everyone leaves, you come back in, they'll be checking your land to make sure you're not switching classes. That said, if anyone wants to join and add or swap for the 3D printing, we have two slots in the 3D printing. Uh, see Matthew outside, the first two get it, get it, and if you want to swap your classes. No, nope, there he runs, out to go to it. Okay. So, uh, here's the, a list of the, the topics. There's a couple, only three, one a day of the hour-long sessions. A bunch of the 30-minute long sessions. Um, we've seen in 30 minutes you can deliver a one-hour presentation if you throw away the fluff. And you're talking to people in this audience who understand the scenario. 
So if you're used to talking to as a marketing guy or a sales thing, or you're, you're going to present to some target audience to sell things to, you have to set the scenario. Well, BYOD, it's a really big problem in our industry because here you're among friends. They know what BYOD is. You don't have to explain it. You don't have to explain what co-channel interference is. You don't have to explain why 2.4 gig acts the way it does. Skip all of the preamble and jump right to the pieces you're trying to talk about. And then we have a bunch of uh, 10 talks. And we have 30 of them. And they come at you fast and hard. And so for if you're queued up for the 10 talk, I'll announce it. You go to the back. Ben, wave your hand. Ben. Go see Ben, and he will get you mic'd up. So you need to be mic'd up so you can swap very quickly. All presenters, we have an HDMI cable up here. You're using HDMI. If you want widescreen, we support widescreen or 4x3 either way, but it does need to be HDMI. Uh, all sessions are recorded by Ben and his team at Prime Image Media, um, and they'll be up on the website as soon as we can. Okay, so deep dive sessions. If you remember your color, I don't remember all the colors. Um, but you know which one you signed up for. Look at the where you are, Fiesta 1, Fiesta 2, Fiesta 3. That's easy ones. Um, Galleria C and Galleria A and B are on the other side of the swimming pool. So we've never used those before in previous conferences, but we got bigger, so we're, we've got those over there. Red Rock is down this hall, and so is Tempe. Red Rock's on the right, Tempe's on the left. So if those are your uh, deep dive sessions, just know where you're gonna go at that point. Some other stuff. We have a testing center on site. Yay, thanks to Chris Avance and his wife, Terry. They, we have down in Coronado. It's the first one on the left coming down this hall. Uh, you can take any Pearson View test, CBNA, AP, SP. Those of you who are at boot camp, Take your test. You will never be more prepared than you were the day after your boot camp. Don't think, oh, I'm going to study for two weeks. No, you're not. <laughs> you just spent three days, eight, ten hours a day thinking about something. You will never put that much energy in in the next two weeks. You're going to go home and play and do other things. Take the test now. We have a testing center right here. If you have other tests you want to take, you can take other tests as well. Any test you want to schedule, it's available. We'll have uh, Terry come and talk to us and tell you how to do that. But it's just a standard Pearson View testing center. just happens to be mobile and in that room. Uh, we can handle up, a four, up to four uh, people taking a test at a time. Uh, headshot booth. We started this a couple of years ago. It's kind of popular. Some people even told me they brought fancy clothes so they could get it done. Right after our sessions tonight, outside in the hall. Right, Ben? Ben, right over here. Over there. Okay. Right. Over there, I had to ask Ben first. Ben will be shooting headshots. We'll get you a nice pretty headshot so you can get it and email it to you. Um, what do you think about your name cards? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Now, for those of you who are at boot camps and you have the little plastic ones that look like luggage tags, my apologies. These were supposed to look more like a ID card so you could actually use them outside of, well, other than... Wells, because he just wants to hang him on, a, on his thing. So we have a social media. We're using hashtag WLPC alone. It's not WLPC US or weird stuff like that, just straight up WLPC. We also have some uh, prizes going along with that. Uh, Wednesday evening is fairly free. We don't have any vendor doing presentations, but we happen to have a little whiskey and wireless. We'll be doing a podcast inside here. There's other evening activities tonight. You can go check your schedule for that. Um, retro gaming. Joel, Sam, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I call it enchilada, but it's... En, uh, you went through this morning, Jen. Encantada. Encantada will have, what do you call it? 8-bit games and below. So 4-bit games. Oh, 16 and below, okay. Um, and what did you think about the food trucks last night? Should we keep that? Okay. Social media giveaways uh, today. Meet someone new you don't know. Take a selfie with them and post it. 
and we will be running those on screen. Where's Andrea? Andrea, wave. She'll be going around taking lots of pictures, posting up on social media, and she has uh, giveaways, little $25 Amazon gift card, so post away tomorrow. Uh, take a picture of your presenter, but post with it uh, what you learned, and then Thursday post something about what you liked about the conference. So in your backpack, you got some stuff. We worked with uh, Drew and got nice Wi-Fi stands that bend. Yay. This one's strong. There we go. Bend. Can't do it with one hand. Um, and a whole bunch of other stuff in there. One of them is my little baby that I spent way too much time on. Um, coming up with a notebook for something that you want to take with you. Now, for some of us who are bigger, it fits in your pants pocket. Skinny people it don't fit in your pants pocket, Amy. Just sorry. <laughs> Unless you get really big pants. Um, but it also is full of things that we use on a daily basis, including in the back, it has whiteboard paper. And you got in your kit a pen, let me find it here, that is not a dry erase. Dry erase will work on those pages, but this is a wet erase. So when you use it, it doesn't wipe off easily. You have to just get a wet rag and you can clear it off. Or Luke, you can use your, your thumb, that works as well. Um, if you like these and we need different things in them, let me know. We can adjust them and, and add different pieces of information. So a lot of effort went into this, a lot of people's input, but uh, it's, it's for you. So if you need it to do something different, we'll adjust and change for that. There's some also, also some stuff that was the vendors gave, like these uh, really cool PoE to USB chargers. Like we never have need for those, never. Um, and that was in your main bag. When this afternoon you go to deep dives, you will get the rest of your kit. And that's why it's a little bigger, so you have space to put all the other things you're doing. So, anybody played Jenga before? The purpose of Jenga is to see if you can remove things and you get down to the bare structure. When you present, we don't want the big one. We want the bare structure. So, how many of you here are ex-military? Big group there, yeah. <laughs> Definitely, thank you for your service, we appreciate it. Um, I grew up a military brat, so I was never in the military, I was just on the side, very close. Um, but I, I didn't get credit, because I was a kid. But one of the things I've noticed with uh, ex-military people is you go to basic training and then you get some specialty and then you go to a class, you might go to another class and your classes are, a short class might be a month or six weeks or five months or eight months. And the problem is they have to take military people who come from all walks of life and have them leave with another set of skills. And they have this cookie cutter way, we will make you into this MOS, whether you want to or not. And, and it's Tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, tell them what you told them, repeat and do it again every single day. Or others who are come from academia where you have a three hour class, which means three hours every week for eight, 10, 12 weeks, whatever semester you're on. So every session you have to spend a third of the session reviewing the last one because it was four days ago and they're university students that were drunk in between. So you have to, re you have to <laughs> review a lot. That's not what this conference is about. You don't need to tell us the setup. You don't need to review. You don't need to do any of those slow things that fill in the Jenga and make it feel stable. We're not doing stable work here. We're out on the edge. Include only the pieces that you need. If you're a trainer and you're like, well, I learned it this way. I had to step through this and I learned this thing and then I learned this thing and I learned this thing. I don't care. What you need to share with the audience is the last thing. How you got there isn't nearly as important as what's there, and then they can choose where they move from there. So just an idea to keep the time to go faster, uh, take the fluff out. So have fun, be engaged. Um, I was gonna put up a quote here from Teddy Roosevelt on be in the arena. You want to be part of it. 
Frenet's a good example. I could name 30, 40 people here who four or five years ago weren't even part of this community and now they're leading in it. If you want to be involved, just do it. Just get engaged and while you're doing it, we're going to have a good time. So that's the conference. Yay. First up. Oh, by the way, if you don't like the conference, tell us. We'll, we'll try to change. Uh, we've made lots of changes. We went from two rooms and then someone was in one room and the other room was getting clapping so they got felt really sad. So we, we don't do that anymore because we were like making people embarrassed. Um, and that, no, notice the deep dives are going to be far apart except for the three in here. And so who's in Lee's class? Yeah, yeah, you're going to have fun. Who's not in Lee's class? <laughs> you're not going to have fun. <laughs> They're, they're going to be like hammering on you. So the ones in here, you'll probably hear each other. So don't feel bad if the laugh isn't for you. It's for the guys next door. Anyway, we're ready to move on. Uh, again, everything's being recorded. Say hi to the cameras when you're up here. Uh, big screens on the side. Little ones here for you guys in the front. And whoever's presenting, you've got a copy of it in front. And with that, we'll get started. Blake, you're up.